Welcome to the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife's new updated internet sales site. The internet sales website is device agnostic, so it will work the same way regardless of the computer, tablet, or cell phone that you choose to use. It does work best in Chrome, Internet Explorer, Safari, or Firefox. We are using updated security features as you can see here. To log in or create a profile, you will need your last name and date of birth. You'll then be asked to submit a personal unique identifier. You can use the last four digits of your social security number, or if you know your conservation ID number or CID number, you can enter that here. If your profile is already in the system, you may be asked to verify or correct some information. Your basic profile information will be at the top, followed by your identifier, your hunter education, and your contact information. The first time you use the new NGELS system, we ask that you please review all of your information to ensure correctness. Providing an email address will ensure that all harvests reported will result in an email of the confirmation number. If you need to edit anything, you can use the Edit Customer Profile button near the top of the screen. New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife staff are the only ones who can edit your driver's license, date of birth, social security number, and name once a profile is created. All other action buttons are also located near the top. You can reprint previously purchased items, order duplicate durable copies of items, check the status of lottery applications, go to your harvest reporting page, see a listing of the licenses you currently hold, or simply click to purchase an item. In the purchasing section, you'll see that you'll be able to filter based on what you're looking for. Over time, you'll notice that the order in which things display for you in the recommended items section will change based on your previous purchase history with the system. Here, we are selecting the resident fishing license. Clicking on the question mark icon in the top left corner of each item card will open a description of the item. If there are any prerequisites, those will show up at the bottom of the item card. You can click them to read them in entirety. To add an item, simply click the green Add button. On the Internet Sales site, customers will only be able to purchase items for which they have the proper prerequisites. Once an item is selected, you'll see it appear in your shopping cart, which is located in the upper right corner right next to your Logout button. If finished shopping, click on the cart to complete your transaction. The new NGELS allows all items to be printed by the customer for immediate use. You no longer need to wait for them to be mailed. For those of you who prefer to have your licenses and permits on durable stock, you can see here that you can order a durable copy to be mailed to you. There is a $2 fee. All firearm and all-around licenses will automatically be printed on durable stock and mailed to you with no charge, as the PDF version is only valid for 15 days from the date of purchase. The right side shows an itemized account of your purchases. Internet sales purchases will have a transaction fee and a convenience fee associated with them. If you do not want to pay these, you can always go to a license agent. Once satisfied with your selections, click the checkout button, fill in the payment fields, and complete your transaction. On the order confirmation screen, you will be given a chance to enter an email address if you'd like a copy of the receipt. Note, this will just be the receipt that will be emailed. The PDF copies of your licenses will always be available by accessing your account. Emailed receipts are optional. The order confirmation page also has a link to open your purchases so you can save them to your computer or you can just print them. The first page of the documents will always be your receipt of purchase. All other pages will be the licenses and the tags that you've bought. Cut the license out on the dashed line. You'll note a small section at the bottom that has some numbers on it. Please keep that attached. You may fold it and tape it to the back of the license if it won't fit in your holder. Remember, you must always display your license when in the field. To return to the main page and choose another action, click on your profile icon in the upper right corner, Harvest Reporting. The top of the page will display all of the tags that are currently available for reporting. You can select the item name from the list and click on the Submit button to file your report. Simply follow the instructions in the drop-down menus. When completed, 
you can confirm or edit your report. Once confirmed, you will receive your harvest confirmation number. Write that down on your tag. If using a mobile phone, you can take a screenshot of the number. Remember, if your email address is in your profile, you will automatically receive an email for each harvest reported, regardless of the method of reporting. Looking further at the main harvest reporting screen, you can see all harvests currently available for reporting, followed by pending reports, which are harvests that will open soon. And at the bottom, your reporting history will display. Division of Fish and Wildlife imported three years of data, so if you have prior year's deer harvests, they will display here along with all new ones. Looking back at the very top of the screen are some additional links. This is where you'll be able to find a link to the permits that are currently available for sale. That report will change as permits are sold. Coming with 2020 licenses, you will be able to add additional customers to your transaction. Buddy fishing licenses will be able to be purchased that way and it will be more convenient for families to purchase items for two people together. Thank you for supporting the Division of Fish and Wildlife and Wildlife Conservation in New Jersey.